Welcome to a lesson on probability with replacement and without replacement. Let's begin by looking at an example. A bag has four blue marbles, three green marbles, and five red marbles as pictured here. Notice how we have a total of 12 marbles. For number one, you select two marbles one at a time with replacement, which means you select one marble, look at the color, place it back into the bag, and then select the second marble. Determine the probability the first marble is blue and the second marble is red. Let's indicate this as the probability of B for blue and R for red. Because you select the first marble and then replace it back into the bag, the outcome of the first event does not affect the outcome of the second event, and therefore the two events of selecting the two marbles are independent events where independent events are events where an outcome of one event is not affected by the outcome of the other. If A and B are independent, then the probability of both A and B occurring is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. So in our case, the probability of B and R, or a blue and red marble, is equal to the probability of a blue marble times the probability of a red marble. Now let's find the probability of selecting a blue marble. Because four of the 12 marbles are blue, the probability of selecting a blue marble is 4 twelfths. So the probability of blue is 4 twelfths, which does simplify to 1 third. So we have the probability of blue is 1 third times the probability of selecting a red. Again, because the first marble is replaced back into the bag, there are still a total of 12 marbles five of which are red, and therefore the probability of selecting a red marble is equal to 5 twelfths, which does not simplify. So we have times 5 twelfths, which is equal to 5 36, which does not simplify, but let's also express this as a decimal and a percentage. Going to the calculator, we convert the fraction to a decimal by dividing 5 by 36, to four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.1389, which is 13.89%. And now let's take a look at number two. For number two, you select two marbles one at a time now without replacement, which means you select the first marble, look at the color, and then do not replace the marble back into the bag, and then select the second marble. Determine the probability the first marble is blue, and the second marble is red. So again, we have the probability of B for blue and R for red. But in this case, because you don't replace the first marble back into the bag, the outcome of the first event does affect the outcome of the second event. And therefore, in this case, the two events are dependent. Where dependent events are events where an outcome of one event is affected by the outcome of the other. And the probability that event B occurs, given that event A has happened, is represented using this notation here. So if events A and B are dependent, then the probability of both A and B occurring is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B given A has occurred. So in this case, because the marbles are selected without replacement, the probability of B and R is equal to the probability of B times the probability of R given B has occurred. We know from number one, the probability of selecting a blue marble is four twelfths or one third, so we have one third. But let's say this is the blue marble selected because it's not replaced back into the bag. Now we have a total of 11 marbles, not 12 marbles, when we go to select the second marble. So the probability of selecting a red marble, given a blue marble has already been selected, is going to be 5 elevenths, not 5 twelfths. So we have times 5 elevenths. Nothing simplifies, so we multiply. The probability is 5 30 thirds. Let's also show this as a decimal and a percentage. 5 divided by 33, enter. To four decimal places is approximately 0 0.1515. which is equal to 15.15%. Let's look at some more examples. Here we have the same bag with the same number of marbles. For number three, you select two marbles one at a time with replacement, 
determine the probability the first marble is green and the second marble is also green. So we want the probability of G for green and G for green again with replacement, which means the events are independent or the outcome of one event does not affect the outcome of the other. And therefore this is equal to the probability of green times the probability of green. And because three of the 12 marbles are green, the probability of selecting a green marble is 3 twelfths, which simplifies to 1 fourth. And therefore we have 1 fourth times 1 fourth, which is equal to 1 sixteenth. The probability of selecting a green, replacing it back into the bag, and selecting a green marble again is equal to 1 sixteenth. Let's also find the decimal and percentage. 1 16th is equal to 0 0.0625, which is equal to 6.25%. And now for number four, you select two marbles one at a time without replacement. Determine the probability the first marble is green and the second marble is also green. So again, we have the probability of green and green But in this case, because the first marble is not replaced back into the bag, we have dependent events, and therefore the probability is equal to the probability of a green marble times the probability of a green marble, given a green marble has already been selected and not replaced back into the bag. We know the probability of selecting a green is 3 twelfths or 1 fourth, but because the green marble is not replaced back into the bag, Let's say this was the green marble selected. Because it's not replaced, there are now a total of 11 marbles in the bag. And therefore, the probability of selecting another green marble is going to be two out of the remaining 11 marbles. And therefore, the probability of selecting a green marble, given a green marble has already been selected without replacement, is 2 elevenths. So we have times 2 elevenths. Notice how here we can simplify before multiplying. There's a common factor of two between the numerator and denominator. There's one, two, and two, and two twos and four, which gives us a probability of one twenty seconds. Going to the calculator, one divided by twenty-two to four decimal places is approximately zero point zero four five five. which is equal to 4.55%. I hope you found this helpful.